Hello there, everybody. Arctic Platypus here today. Sorry, my upload schedule is not quite amazing at all. It's uh very infrequent. I need to get back into the hang of the things of the YouTubes. Um, anyway, so this video is gonna be about Battlefield Hardline. I know the beta ended like last week, last week on Tuesday, and um, sorry I didn't get it uploaded last week, but it just didn't happen. Um, but I, this video is just gonna be my opinion. On Battlefield Hardline, I know I already uploaded a game review, but it's kind of just going to be a discussion about Battlefield Hardline. Uh, it's probably not going to be that long. I'm just going to discuss Battlefield Hardline. So, here we're going to go. Uh, well, so, Battlefield Hardline is a t FPS game. It's just a first-person shooter, and the theme is cops versus criminals. Um, and there's a... Multitude of, multitude of game modes and maps. The beta only had three game modes and three maps. The three game modes were Conquest Large, which has appeared in previous Battlefield games. Uh, there's uh, like a, multiple objectives, and your team just has to go capture them and hold them for as long as possible. Hold as many as possible. And it, there's a lot of murder, killing, just a lot of good fun. Vehicles... There's way more vehicles in Conquest than the other two game modes. Uh, the other two game modes are Hotwire and Heist. Of course, these are the only ones that were in the beta. So Hotwire is one with cars. So the cars are the objectives. And you have to drive them around. And driving them around for longer gives you more points. And the team who has more points from driving around cars wins. Well, it's not that simple, actually. There's, kind of, there's tickets. And whichever team has more cars loses tickets more slowly, and the other team loses tickets more quickly. Basically like Conquest, but with mobile objectives, and the mobile objectives are destructible. And then once they're destroyed, the uh, objective will respawn. Uh, also, Heist. It's kind of simple, and it's kind of given away in the name. Heist is when the criminals try to break into a vault, steal the money, and get away to the drop point. The cops, of course, try to stop them. And there were three maps. One was a downtown map, which appeared in the first beta. Which, if you looked at the footage of my first beta, it would all be the downtown uh, heist game mode. Because that's what they had. They, actually had. they also had blood money back in the first beta. So that's another game mode that they're going to have. But anyway, um, another map was Dust Bowl. It was for Conquest Large and Hotwire, and it was like a rural town, and in Conquest there was a dust storm that rolled through. It was pretty interesting. The last map was the Bank Job, which was for Heist. That was a really cool map. But anyway, that's just the basics of the gameplay, and what I, my, th my thoughts about it, I, I had a ton of fun. I actually played for... 20 hours? Yeah, I played 20 hours in one week of that game, of the beta, the second beta. And it's great. I had a lot of fun. Um, I played a lot of the uh, Battlefield 4. That was kind of my first Battlefield game. Well, actually, Battlefield 3, I kind of played a little bit before Battlefield 4, but Battlefield 4 was kind of my first one. And I enjoyed it a lot, but recently, I can't play that game anymore. The... The gameplay is very unbalanced. It just it's really not fun anymore for me. I have I kind of I don't play it very often. And it's just ah uh, you can you get sniped randomly. Helicopters can fly in and just mow down 10 people at once. And then tanks can come around and they take four missiles to destroy. I mean, I guess it's realistic. I mean, tanks could do that, but it doesn't it just really gets annoying. I don't know. But Battlefield Hardline, I feel like the gameplay is much more balanced. I didn't find myself getting angry every time I got killed. In Battlefield 4, every time I got killed, I was like, ah, oh, god dang it, that guy shouldn't have been able to kill me. But in Battlefield Hardline, it's like, oh, I could have done this better to get that kill. It's not like, it's not like you feel cheated when you die. I mean, of course, sometimes that'll happen. It's an FPS. In any FPS, I mean, everybody has different play styles. Everybody has different skills. And it's never going to be perfectly balanced. But I think Battlefield Hardline does a much better job of balancing the teams and the gameplay. 
Um, I don't know. I think I just a lot of people don't like the theme of the game, and I really don't have any problem with it. It feels a lot like a normal battlefield game. It's just more balanced, and it, of course, cops and criminals. That's um, but you still, it's just a shoot 'em up game, and it's I I had I had a lot of fun with it. It's, it's all I really have to say about. I mean, it's just fun. But I probably need to go into more depth about that. Um, let's talk about the heist game mode. So in heist, as I said, the cops, the criminals are trying to get the vault and get the money. And I, that, that game mode, that was incredibly fun. I didn't play as much of that as I, as I did with Hotwire. But with heist, it's just it's a, a totally new uh, game mode for the Battlefield series. And I like, I like that about Battlefield Narland because they're doing a lot of new things that old Battlefields didn't do. Because, um, I mean, I don't know. I feel like Battlefield was kind of starting to be a little bit repetitive with 3 and 4. Uh, but Battlefield Hardline is doing a lot of new things, which is really good. I, I like that. And also, we didn't get to play any of the single player, but that looks like a totally new thing. It's not just linear. There's a little bit of uh, choice here and there. Like, you can choose to be non-lethal or lethal. Seems that That's going to be way more fun than just a linear shooter campaign like pretty much every fps has a linear story and i'm i'm, I'm glad that uh about the whole battlefield hardline is trying some new things um i don't know it's just it's a lot of fun and i'm excited to get it i already pre-ordered the game a while ago i'm gonna stop pre-ordering things because with dying light that proved to be a terrible pre-order and i usually don't pre-order games but with Battlefield Hardline, I was I, I just had to pre-order it. I'm probably not going to pre-order any more games um, after I get Battlefield Hardline. But, I don't know. I, I'm excited for it. And you're probably going to be seeing some more videos of it on my channel in March when it comes out. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If this gave you any insight on your thoughts about the game, I mean, that would be... That's all I'm really trying to do here. But anyway... Hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, even if you're going to bed right now, or if you're just getting up. It doesn't really matter. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all later.